It was crazy, a broad daylight, all the neighbors was out. Like, he did it in front of everybody. Like, it was just, just senseless. Like, we begin with new information on the teenage suspect connected to a murder in Muskegon Heights. Police arrested him last night after a wild chase in which he shot at police and drove the wrong way twice in Kent County on M37 and I-96. Now we've learned police were called to a Muskegon Heights home before shooting there, but left without making an arrest. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills explains why. The 19 year old suspect is a Muskegon man, and even though he was arrested Monday evening in Kent County, he's being held here at the Muskegon County Jail. Felony charges are expected in both Kent and Muskegon counties. Jail records show right now the suspect is being held on a murder charge. He may be arraigned on that and other charges Wednesday. The incident started at this home on McIlrith in Muskegon Heights near Carl Lawton's house. It started off as a B and E and turned into this tragedy. Lawton says he and other neighbors called police because the suspect threw a brick at this house. Seeing this little guy breaking into this guy's house. Muskegon Heights police arrived, but the suspect wasn't arrested because the suspect had a family connection to the house. The incident was considered a domestic dispute with family members resolving it on their own. 20 to 30 minutes later, that's when everything just, it just went totally wrong. Started just shooting at the guy, shooting at the car and he cleared out his gun and that's when I seen him get into the car and push the other victim out, jumped into the car and, and he drove off. The suspect's father survived the shooting. The father's girlfriend was the woman killed in the shooting. About an hour later, the suspect entered I-96 driving westbound in the eastbound lane near Walker. A Kent County deputy intentionally drove into the vehicle, forcing the car off the highway. Police say the suspect was firing at police during the pursuit. And according to Muskegon Heights Police, the father of the suspect is recovering from gunshot injuries in a Muskegon area hospital's ICU. In Muskegon, John Mills, 13 on your side.